guys, and welcome back to another episode of the Chaos Craft server with myself, Nuxry1. How you doing? And uh, today, we're going to fill in the top part of the island with this lovely dirt block that we've got, or and grass, grass and dirt, grass and dirt, and we will cover the island, uh, the half that we've done. But before we do that, Trev told me he's left me a present opposite one of the brewing stands. Uh, and I can only imagine this means the opposite the room because there's not really a lot of places in here to store anything and I don't think there's anything new in the chests so yeah no it doesn't look like there's anything new in here so let's go I reckon it's opposite here ah oh, oh, there it is hello I got myself a little skull now thanks to Trev cheers brotherhood that can stay up there because that is the entrance and uh, it does kind of lead to death and destruction so good call Trev, cheers for that but yeah we're gonna get on with the island and then we're gonna go check out the spawn village because uh, there's things that need doing over there so here we go this is um, this is pretty much half of the island complete now Almost. I just gotta get the last of these bits in. And I think I'm gonna run out of dirt. Oh, damn it. Okay, no worries. Well, we'll just put what we've. Go away, mate. Come on. We'll put what we've got down. And then as we journey around the world, we can go find some more. Dun. 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 And I got the music on today. And the sound effects. I know, it's a totally crazy new world we're taking part of, or taking part in. Look mate, don't make me evict you, there's plenty of your friends at the bottom of this island. I wasn't threatening him, honest. Alright, calm down mate. Alright then, around here. See this bit I sort of did off camera anyway. Um, some of those things, one of those things that you do off camera, I guess. You don't want to watch me filling in all this shit all the time. Uh, which is fair enough, I don't want to watch me filling in this shit half the time. Uh, we'll put some grass blocks down. And then, we're going to have to silk, silk touch up some more, but that's fine because the only item that I've got in silk touch these days is a shovel. So. Yes, until Nux's super pit gets silk touch on it, unfortunately, we're going to be doing things this way. Um, and I need food. There was a potato there. We'll take the potato. Om nom nom. Oh, they're not cooked. Okay. Um, have I got any cooked food? Sod it. We'll take the melon. Alright, and for the... For the spawn town, we're going to need some bits and pieces. We'll take the power pick and that withers to get some more stuff. And we're going to need some build blocks, so we'll take some of them as well. It would be nice to see if there was a sort of... Pardon me. Not a bar but a numbered, numbered thing to show you how many uses they've got left that'd be cool and what else, what else, what else um, this should probably be enough actually if we need anything else we'll come back um, 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 I'm in an iron a lot today it's like back to when I first started with, that's so cool Back to when I first started doing the YouTube ting. So I'm in an R in a lot and didn't really know what was going on. Hi, my name's Nux. Do you want to watch me build a floating island? And then, look where we are now. So, uh, yeah. Hi. Um, I don't know if I've got a minecart in here. Probably not. But that's fine. We can talk on our way to um, the spawn village and I'll sort of give a little tour as well because that was the whole point of what the hell is going on up there hello guys 
Zombie Pigman collaboration party. This guy on the left's like, dance, 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 dance. I'll give you a little tour of what's going on here as well. This is my little never hub. This is where you come out and uh, go to the floating island. With new and improved ender chest. Yeah, no, we haven't got any. Uh... But this room is one of those many rooms that was just built quickly to fulfil a purpose and will be fixed at a later date. Um, but yeah, last night we had a game of Ultra Hardcore, not a proper one, just a practice game on an island somewhere on the server. Um, and obviously it didn't work that well because our health was regenerating, we didn't need to, to find potions or golden apples or anything like that. But we had good fun. Um, we did it on an island close to my island. And uh, we uh, split up into four different teams. There's only f one person on each team. Four different teams. And uh, yeah. Trev destroyed myself and Peacemaker quite quickly as when the fight started happening. And then uh, Luke finally beat Trev down in the uh, near the end. So that was kind of cool. And uh, hopefully an indication of how things... No, hopefully not an indication of how things are going to go. But um, I have said to the guys, because we're meant to be doing this with Tiddy Lama and three of his friends. Uh, I think one of them's American as well, which is cool. We like American people. First American on the server, would be. But, um, yeah, the, uh, the thing is, I've said to all the Chaos Crafters that you're not allowed to lose to Tiddy Lama or any of the Tiddy Lama players, because uh, if you do, that's six diamonds you owe me. You're not allowed to lose to anybody from different servers. So here we go, we're at the spawn town. I tried to put this little cage thing around here to stop the creepers blowing it up, it didn't really work. Um, and the farm keeps getting blown up and zombies are going into Thingy's house. Into Trev's house. I don't think he'd want you in here, pal. Disappear. This is not your place. So this is Trev's place, very cool. Um, He's got all underground bits and pieces up here. I'll go check this out quickly. Oh wow, this has changed since I was in here last. Oh wow, this looks cool. Nice work, Trev. That's really cool. Oh, whoa. Do do do. Actually, I probably uh, I probably shouldn't because I haven't seen... Oh, I don't know if he wants me to show all this yet. But uh, there's a sneak peek of what he's got going on. And the reason we're here right now is not to get attacked by spiders, but to uh, fix up our Christmas tree. Luke's been working on a Christmas tree for the uh, Chaos Craft server. Oh God, there's a creeper over there. And I think there may be an issue with memory. No? Okay. Alright. This is my house at the spawn village. We're just going to go in here and see if there are any torches. Whoa! No way! As if you're going to do that! Get out of it! Get out of it! Get out of it! Yeah, see? I'm learning. I am learning. Show no fear with the creepers. Alright, I've got three torches. We can light up a little bit, I suppose. And then, uh, nothing else? Oh, we've got some iron here. We'll be taking that back with me. Thank you very much. Alright. We'll do that. Do that. Okay. hi -ya! All of you are going to get run through in a minute. What is with the lag? Oh god, I know why this is happening. This is that sodding chicken farm. I'll show you that in a minute. Right, that's you two down. And we'll put some of this light up around here. Can you hear that? I think that's the chicken farm. <laughs> Believe it or not. Right, you can go there. Turn. and uh, Right, we'll go check this out. But I may have to kill a few of these before... Starting work on our Christmas tree. Look at this madness! I don't know if I'm allowed to kill them. Well, of course I'm allowed to kill them, it's my bloody server, but 
I don't know if Luke and Nett are keeping them for any particular reason. So yeah, um, like any good Christmas tree, I suppose this one deserves some tinsel. God, that lag is uh, horrible. Whoa! I won't lie, I don't think it's that big a problem. Right, so let's see if we can't put some tinsel on here. This is going to look very, very silly. But you know, they're getting the, in the Christmas spirit, aren't you? How does that look? Shut up, zombie, no one cares. Okay. We'll see, we'll have to wait until we're all finished to see what it looks like. Oh my god, that's horrible. Lagaroonies. Okay, well that happened quicker than I thought it was going to do. Maybe we'll have to do two, two rows of tinsel. Don't. This is uh, this is not good. Oh shit. Okay, well we'll get some leaves back to fix that. I didn't want to go there, I wanted to go along. So like there. And then round. <laughs> Missing whole sides. Okay, zombie! Chill the f frip out, man! That is the worst noise they've added to the entire game, is that banging on door shit. Alright. Oh my god, are you for real? Why? What do you want in here? Oh, there's a villager in here, isn't there? You are causing me some serious problems, pal. And let's deal with this laggy ch chicken farm as well. It might just be if I pick up all these eggs, it'll be alright. I can't hit them. Okay. Geronimo! Sorry, whoever's chicken farm this is, but the lag is just too much. So what are we going to do about the tinsel on that Christmas tree then? Because it doesn't look that great. Is that enough? I got some raw chicken out of that as well. Nice one. Oh, no, it's still not enough. Okay. Well, never mind. Uh, irritating. Okay, come on. Come on, come on. Whoever's chicken farm that is, please can we remove it from Spawn Village? Thank you very much. Lots of love, Nux. Alright. Oh, piss off. <laughs> can we see if we can do something here as well? No? Okay. Well, we need to go find a workbench for that. And like I said, this is uh, Luke's Christmas tree. I think Trev sort of half helped, I'm not sure. And by helped, I mean walked around in the background wondering what was going on. But you know, it's Christmas! You've got to celebrate with things like this, haven't we? Oh. Or we've got to run out of them. I sh probably should have given that a bit more forethought. It's getting there though. Slightly Christmassy. Right, let's go find a workbench quickly. Oh! I'll take that. Let's go find a workbench quickly. He's got to have one, hasn't he? Trev, do you have a workbench in here? 
You actually do not. Okay, well, to Luke's place then. Hey, there's a workbench over there. Sorry. Now, how many of these can I do? Hmm, I was kind of hoping for four at least, but three we'll have to do. And we'll just have to work something else out. Ah, come on now. It's getting there. <laughs> Slowly but surely, it's getting there. Okay. Oh, come on. You're going to screw me out of one? Thank you. Right. I think they've done an awesome job with this Christmas tree. I just hope I'm not ruining it by putting, <laughs> putting tinsel and stuff on it. Okay. Um, uh, okay. I want another sort of bit of red. Red, uh, whatever this stuff I just, I've called. Okay, you're the end, so we'll take you off and then I'll pop back here later with some more red wool to finish this off. Oh my god, at the lag, seriously. And this is on our uh, this is on our rented server, so I don't know. Chickens really are a problem. And then we'll put that there and that there. I kinda wanted five so I could do like a star shape with it. But that will that will do for now, and then when we get more gold, we can put um, put another block of it there, and then that can be our star. But now we need to go find more tinsel, and I think the only place I can find that is my place. So I'll run back to the floating island quickly. Whoever this is, please move it. It hurts my face. Thank you. Um, and I will run back to the. Oh my god. I will run back to the floating island quickly. But yeah, um, so Christmas is coming up, so we've got our Christmas tree sorted. Uh, Ultra Hardcore, Chaos Craft Hardcore, or Hardcore Chaos, whatever you want to call it, is coming up in a few days. The 15th we're recording it, I don't know when it's going to be up. And hopefully, if all goes to plan, we will be joined by Tiddy Llama, uh, The Hare, and a couple of other guys from that network, from that sort of area. And uh, they're network partners, so it's all good. We're going to have a great time. But like I said, the challenge has been laid down that if any Chaos Crafters get beaten by any of the Tiddy Llama squad, oh, I'm not going to be happy. Not going to be happy. We are warriors on this server. Much like those in Far Cry 3. Warriors with tattoos and what have you. So yeah, we're not allowed to lose to those guys. It'll be good fun though. I kind of like the idea of having a wager between the teams. But it's all for all. And uh, it's all for all. But um, you can team up with one other person if you if you so choose. Um, Peacemaker wants it so that if you uh, sign up with someone, if you join... like So say if me and Peacemaker signed up as sort of like a little team um, after encountering each other in the wild, if we sort of was like, Alliance? And uh, he agreed. His idea is that we'd have to kill each other at the end of the game anyway to get an ultimate victor sort of thing to find out who the who the one, who the number one guy is as opposed to having two guys. But I've always thought that if we had it so um, a couple of us could win the competition. All right, if uh, if I sign up with Luke or if I uh, team up with Luke halfway through the match um, or Trev. Or Nick, or Peacemaker rather, or any of the others. I think that would be quite useful to me as a strategy. But I don't want to. I don't want to have to keep looking over my shoulder and dealing with them as much as I'm dealing with the other people I'm fighting against. So 
We'll see, we'll see how that goes. The mobs on this island, man. Absolute piss take. If you could just go down the hole, that would be amazing. Okay, red wall's here. This is the red wall I was going to use to finish the ceiling of the dome, but since we've done here, for the time being, we can just, that's so cool. We could just uh, take it and do what we like with it for now. And hopefully on my tour of the server, I will come across many a delightful red sheep to shear. Oh yeah, I've also moved where my portal is. At the, uh, pardon me, moved my portal at the floating island. Because um, I plan to rig this with traps eventually. So that other people can't keep pranking me so easy. So yeah, let's go. I never realised before that this walk isn't actually that bad. If you're talking about something, this walk isn't isn't terrible. Um, yeah, last night's uh, UHC practice went pretty well. I'm not going to lie, I don't think I did that well personally. But overall, the format works. Right, we we can work out what we're doing sort of thing. So yeah, it'll all just come down to it on the day now. But um, what else was I going to say? Yeah, I managed to find like iron in abundance, um, like I'd mine and then come back up to the surface when I had like an iron sword or something, and then I'd go back under again uh, as soon as night rocked about, and uh, yeah, then I'd find more iron. So I was sitting on like an iron chest plate and an iron sword, and I think iron boots but obviously we were just playing on the server so we didn't have any mods installed to sort of get rid of our health or anything so gold wasn't a huge issue so I turned my gold into trousers uh, iron helmet, iron chest plate, iron, iron shoes and then golden trousers and I had a, an iron sword and I think it was like on the fifth or sixth night I went venturing out and uh, yeah Trev snuck up behind me and he Utterly destroyed me. It pretty much got me into a tree corner, so I was in between loads of leaves and that. And I was fighting for my life, like da 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 da. And he was, uh, he just had me in a corner and was beating the shit out of me, basically. So good on him, because he, uh, he won. Oh no, he didn't win. Luke won. But, um, Trev managed to kill both myself and Peacemaker before falling to Luke, so it's all good. Alright, let's. In your own time, Minecraft. Okay, right. Okay, well that's the end of that one there. And we'll put these across here like this. Oh, one more, and then we'll go down there, and then for dump. What are you doing to me, game? What are you doing? Stop it. Bro. I'm guessing this is just a creeper hole and nothing else. Okay. It kind of looks Christmassy. And this is why I am an author, an author, an author. This is why I'm an author. No, this is why I'm an author and not an artist. Because writing words is easier. There's sort of a base standard set for words. Whereas this, this is a bit weird. But sod it. It looks cool. And that's all that matters, right? How many other servers do you know have done a Christmas tree? Oh, actually, probably quite a few. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. I don't know the rest of the words for that song, so... Unfortunately, you just have to bear with me for that. Um, I'll put that there, and that there, and then obviously these are presents, aren't they? So, yeah. 
it looks kind of okay. This uh, bottom bit looks a bit bare, so we'll do that. Oh my god, that zombie! Seriously, pal, just disappear. Oh my god, I just done my sword, nice. Shovel! Shovel will have to work. Okay, look, I'm not going to hang around here for too long. Believe it or not, my, the nether would be the safer, safest place to hang around at night on this server. Yeah, seriously, pal. Cut it out. Alright, I'm getting out of here before Creeper blows stuff up. But, uh, yeah, we've done the Christmas tree. That's one thing done out of several. Can I not hit him while I'm in the portal? I bet you he can hit me. And, uh, yeah. So, let the tour begin properly, in earnest. We're on our way to Peacemaker's place. And since this walk... What the bloody hell is this? Hmm. Okay, I'm just going to explore quickly. I don't actually think I've got any food. I've got three melon. Oh, this could be... This could be a whole number of things. I will check this out later. I'm... Yeah, so next episode we'll go check out Peacemaker's Place, which is at the, long, at the end of this long old rail. And, uh... Yeah. I hope you've enjoyed watching. Thank you very much, guys, for uh, taking the time to view this. And, uh, yeah, I will catch you next time when we go to check out Peacemaker's Place. All the best, guys. Bye-bye.